HTA systems are designed and used to assess the value of new health technologies. Value is therefore a pivotal concept in HTA. However, value is not something which would have one single all-encompassing definition. Instead, it can be understood and defined from several possible approaches. This chapter summarizes three important approaches to HTA which significantly differ in the way they define and capture value. In the first approach, value is primarily calculated and expressed in terms of cost effectiveness and budget impact. A new technology brings value to the healthcare system if it is cost effective based on the relationship between its cost and the health benefit it brings. Budget impact itself is not an indicator of value, but it does indicate affordability. In the second approach, value is defined as added clinical benefit. It is therefore a clinical category and not an economic one. Clinical benefit itself can be captured along several sources, for example, efficacy, safety, or patient convenience. In this approach, technologies are often classified into categories or ranked into league tables through some scoring algorithm. The third approach is a combination of calculations and categorization. The objective here is to arrive at a balanced, multidimensional assessment of value in which both clinical and economic value drivers are appropriately captured. Of course, the three approaches have their own formal names. The calculation approach is usually called economic evaluation. As said earlier, its key metrics are cost effectiveness and budget impact. Cost effectiveness is judged based on an explicit or implicit threshold. Results are obtained through economic modeling, whose methods are set down by health economic guidelines. Consideration of non-economic aspects is generally weak. The United Kingdom is widely regarded as the birthplace of economic evaluation, but many high- and middle-income countries have implemented HTA systems based on the principles of economic evaluation. The categorization approach is more formally called the comparative assessment. It places emphasis on verifying the clinically proven added benefit of a new technology over its appropriate comparator. Different countries using this approach may have different rules for comparator selection, but essentially all systems based on comparative assessment share the principle that added clinical benefit determines allowable price or eventual funding restrictions. They normally use standard categories of added benefit. For example, minor, considerable, significant, or exceptional. Value appraisal takes place through discussion and deliberative decision-making. Economic considerations are typically introduced during pricing negotiations. France, Germany, Italy, and Japan all use systems which are based on principles of comparative assessment. The third, combined approach is sometimes called balanced or multi-criteria assessment, and it bundles together several different techniques which have in common the fact that they use multiple economic and non-economic assessment criteria. In these systems, both economic and clinical value can independently qualify a medicine for funding. Like in the comparative assessment paradigm, a value appraisal takes place along deliberative processes and strong emphasis is placed on process transparency. Canada, Australia, Sweden, and the Netherlands all have HTA systems which are based on multi-criteria assessment in one way or another. Typically, these systems incorporate strong economic traditions, but they also consider clinical, ethical, or societal aspects. Emerging initiatives for pragmatic HTA frameworks in Central and Eastern Europe also advocate for multiple assessment criteria.